Hi, welcome to a, an extra video in the saws and sawing uh, series. Uh, it's a little bonus one. I mentioned when I was talking about different saws, I uh, got out this 20 inch cross cut saw, um, panel saw, and I said that I, I wanted to convert it to a, uh, a, a small rip saw, rip panel saw, for doing tenons at the bench. And it was in terrible state, uh, not sharp at all, teeth all higgledy piggledy, and uh, anyway, I have uh, made some efforts towards turning it into a, a better rip cut saw, and it does work quite well now. I filmed the stages I went through, and uh, I'm going to show that here, but I'm showing it more as a demonstration. I think I said at the time that um, sharpening and saw tuning is really best left to the professionals, unless you're going to be doing an awful lot of it, in which case you get enough practice to become good at it. So this is, this is by way of a demonstration, hope you enjoy it. Uh, there will be enough details that if you want to try it, you could follow the steps that I've taken and see how you get on. But uh, if you do that, please first of all try on a, a cheap saw. I started by squashing most of the set out of the teeth using a, an engineer's vise. And now I'm just filing all the teeth level and taking out a slight hollow that there was in the tooth line. The teeth weren't evenly spaced, so I'm using a triangular file just to try and respace them. So I'm putting more pressure on the, the wider tooth than the narrower one, and I'm still filing with the, the cross cut angle at the moment. I'm not aiming for perfection with the tooth spacing, but I'm just trying to bring back some of the teeth into action. Because obviously, if you find uh, the spacing's wrong, then some of the teeth are going to be lower than others and they won't do any cutting. Now that's thrown the height of some of the teeth um, out of line, so I'm going to quickly level again so that the file touches at least 95% of the teeth. Now I can start to reshape for the rip profile, so you'll see the triangular file is now twisted in my hand, so I'm getting an almost perpendicular leading edge on the tooth. And I'll continue with that until the tips of uh, every tooth, or I like to say 95% of the teeth, are nice and sharp. Then if I pan across the tooth line you'll see that it's um, far from perfect, but it is a, an awful lot better than it was. And I switch to a, uh, a fresher side of the file, and uh, file every single tooth once more, just to give it a nice clean finish. Then I grab the saw set and uh, reset the teeth. I work down one side every other tooth, flip the saw around and work back the other way. And you probably saw the tooth plate wasn't great so some work with rubber abrasive pads I think you can get them under the name of Gary Flex these days. That just cleans that up. Bit of wax on there, and we can test out whether it's any better. Well, we know it's going to be better, but how good it is. Well, I'm very happy with how it uh, rips in softwoods and harder woods. Uh, the only trouble is a little bit of tear out when cross cutting. Although a well knifed line should help avoid that. I hope you found that interesting. Cheerio.